Joining me now for a reaction, James Golden, known popularly as Bo Snurdly of the Rush Limbaugh Show. He is a radio host at 77 WABC here in New York. And of course, you can hear him nationally with the magic of that invention called the Internet. Uh, James, welcome aboard. Nice to see you again, sir. Tammy, thank you for having me on. Great to be with you. And wow, what a six minutes you have covered the state of America in a way that I think needs tremendous attention. You know, I have to say, you know, sports, what's really important about sports, all of us understand this, is the nature that it, it shows us that, you know, you can lose a, a battle and win the war, right? That is a, a key life lesson about sports, uh, that there's going to be ups and downs. And so I would fully hope and expect that Team USA comes back. But what do you think of my premise, that this is like a microcosm of the attitude that is permeating everywhere here. We see it in sports, we see it with the Olympics, but it affects our home life, it affects business. We saw with the poll, it affects the optimism for the future. Uh, where do you think this is headed and what can we do about it? Now, Tammy, normally I would say to you, okay, I'm not buying it because athletes are so competitive and they're worried about their own competitive state and their own achievement, that they wouldn't let these kind of things hurt them. But then again, look at what they are being competitive with now. The competition isn't about being the very best that you can be on the athletic field. The competition seems to be about being the best you can for the media, being the best you can so that you can have your face on the media proving how woke you are. Do you remember when the Olympics were fun? When athletes used to, yeah. used to show up, we used to marvel at their performances, marvel at their individual achievement. Today, the news stories aren't about their achievements. The news stories are about everything but their achievements. I do see one bright spot in all this, though, something I do support, and that is the number of women in the Olympics that finally are saying, hey, we've had enough being objects for yeah. you guys to look at with the little bikinis with our butts hanging out. Yeah. We want to play sports, and we want to do so in a manner that we think is dignified. And I support that wholeheartedly. You see, and I, you know, uh, that's a great point. I know that the German team has also changed its uniform entirely, but that speaks to the individual's desire to, to be more powerful in the implementation of their sport, either through the team or as an individual. But when you've got coaches that have, like Popovich, who's been speaking very openly about uh, hating the country effectively, uh, how can you move forward in anything you do if misery and resentment cloud your mind when, when competing is, can be about pride for a company, pride for the country, and if you think America's really this bad, why would you be compelled to do better? And then, James, the difference between perhaps teammates who might not feel the way you do and the danger these days about not agreeing right. on a political issue. Right, the, re the resentment that comes inside a team. And now you're, you're wondering what your teammates think of you if you are pro-American. Imagine that. And so here's, here's what we're left with. And you know this. If you're a performer, if you're getting ready to do your show or any show, and someone comes up to you before the show with some drama, any kind of drama, it's going to affect the way that you do your show. It, you can't help it. These are the most highly tuned athletes in the world. And look what is put before yeah. them before they are on the world stage. It's a shame. And you know what else is a shame, Tammy? It's a shame that when the women's soccer team lost, there were many in America who said, good, they I'm deserve right. yeah. to lose. You know, this is, this is what's difficult, and yet it has become, instead of bringing us together, we see it, of course, here at home with sports teams, it becomes this fight. Uh, and, you know, we can, already the ratings have indicated Americans you know, we've lost this. Uh, and so I really thank you so much for your perspective, James. Great stuff as always. Thank you, sir. Great to see you. Now